This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Matt, the host of the Beard Laws Podcast, a podcast that has nothing to do with beards. A podcast where we aim to entertain and interact with our live viewers, but our listeners, they're like the quiet person that never talks sitting around the bonfire because the rest of the group is so entertaining, hilarious, wild, and a little bit dumb. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let Beard Laws and the boys, Toby, Brandon, Logan, Zach, Richie, and our occasional special guest entertain you. We're live on the Beard Laws YouTube Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and for every reason you want to see us and or our beards. Check us out, thebeardlawspodcast.com. Come, we're everywhere. Hey, everybody. It's Leo from Films and Orientation. I'm back again with another mini pod review. This one is of the 2023 Netflix original animated film, Nimona. The queen killer is still out there. Everyone is scared. He's a murderer. He's a monster. He's perfect. <laughs> Hey, boss. Who are you? The name's Nimona. Your sidekick has arrived. I don't need a sidekick. Every villain needs a sidekick. I'm not a villain. The real villain is still out there, and I do need help. And then, who do you want to kill first? What? Look, I can help you, but promise me you won't freak out. Why would I trust you? Promise! I promise! Even when you see the horn? Horn! Promise! I promise, promise, I will not freak out. This is the part where you run. They call me help. They call me Stacy. They call me help. Monster attack. They call me Jane. Monster attack. That's not my name. You did that on purpose. You catch on quick, boss. That's not my name. Something, something, something. We win. I'm Mr. Cat. If they call me the ball. If anyone can find them, it's me. They call me help. They call me Stacy. Ambrosius really thinks I'm a murderer. It's not my name. You got betrayed by someone you trusted. Because once everyone sees you as a villain, it's not my name. that's what you are. <laughs> Do you think you saw us? Yes. Why are you running around with a monster? Don't call her that. The world kicks you around sometimes. But together, we can kick it back. Mona, smart, kind, and sophisticated. That guy just beat his armor. He beat his armor. Oh, I like where this is going. Let's break stuff. Promise I'm your official sidekick forever and ever. No take backsies. Can you just be you? I don't follow. None of this makes sense. Look, boss, it's simple. If you like something, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Who has four thumbs and is really great at liking stuff? In the realm of animated films that beautifully blend wit, heart, and an imaginative storyline, Nimona Stands Tall is a remarkable gem. The movie bo- uh, brings Noel Stevenson's beloved graphic novel to life in a way that only captivates audiences but leaves a lasting impression on their heart. 
At its core, Nimona is a delightful exploration of friendship, identity, and the blurred lines between hero heroism and villainy. The narrative introduces us to Nimona, a spunky and shape-shifting young girl, voiced with incredible spirit by Chloe Grace Moretz. Her antics and mischievous nature are a sheer delight to watch as she teams up with the brooding and morally complex character Lord Ballister Boldheart, voiced by the incomparable Riz Ahmed. Forming an unexpectedly heartwarming bond that transcends the typical hero-villain dichotomy. The animation style of Nimona is a visual feast seamlessly combining vibrant colors with an art style that pays homage to the graphic novel while adding its own cinematic flair. The action sequences are not only exhilarating, but also visually stunning, showcasing the remarkable talents of the animation team. What truly sets Nimona apart is its ability to strike a perfect balance between humor and depth. The witty banter between characters keeps the audience engaged while the underlying themes of acceptance, loyalty, and the complexity of personal choices adds layers of emotional depth that resonate long after the credits roll. This film doesn't shy away from tackling more profound themes, yet it does so in a way that is accessible and relatable for audiences of all ages. Furthermore, the voice acting deserves a standing ovation. Each voice artist brings a unique charm to their character, infusing them with life and personality. The chemistry between the cast is palpable, making the characters feel like old friends by the film's end. One of the film's most commendable aspects excuse me, is its willingness to subvert traditional tropes, challenges the audience to question preconceived notions of heroism and villainy, presenting a thought-provoking narrative that encourages empathy and understanding for characters often relegated to the role of mere antagonists. In conclusion, Nimona is a tour de force that not only entertains but also inspires. Its infectious energy, endearing characters, and meaningful storytelling make it a standout in the animated film landscape. You don't always have to go to Disney to find animated films. As I said, this is a Netflix original. It's a film that manages to be both whimsical and poignant, leaving a profound impact on viewers young and old. With its blend of action, humor, and heart, Nimona is a cinematic triumph that deserves a special place in the hearts of all who experience its magic and who are fans of animated films. I'm Leah with Films and Fermentation. Thank you for joining me for this mini-pod review of Nimona. Please look out for some more mini-pods that I'll be releasing in the next couple of weeks as we are taking a short break from full episodes until after the Thanksgiving holiday. Our next full episode will be Tuesday, December 5th. So you can join us then for that full episode. I'm Leo. You can go to filmsoffermentation at gmail.com to leave us a message. You could also go to linktree.com slash filmsoffermentation to find all of our social media and podcast links. Or you can go to deluxeeditionnetwork.com because we are now a part of the Deluxe Edition Network. Cheers, everybody. This is Take on the World with Johnny and Mike. And, you know, people always ask me, hey, you got a podcast? What's it about? Uh, I don't know. You ever want to uh, cut your fingers off or learn about a sharp knife? <laughs> we could tell you that. <laughs> How about uh, murder mysteries or uh, hauntings or any kind of fringe subject? Anything you could think of. We take on everything because we take on the world. Now you go take on the world. 